Hello and welcome to the first episode of DOS Byte, where I talk about old computers, old games, and awesome stuff like that. Don't go away because I'm going to show you three types of floppy disks. Oh, now this one you may be familiar with. This is the three and a quarter floppy, which most of you know about. And generally, there was two types. Uh, the first one I came across was had 700. Uh, I was going to say megabytes and 700 kilobytes. I think it was actually 733, but bear with me. It was 20 years ago. And uh, the more familiar one with most of us nowadays is, is the 1.44, which in nowadays nowadays terms is literally like a picture. Um, but this is basically an old disc that I used to use with my old Sinclair, well, my granddad's Sinclair, which I've now acquired, as you may have seen on the previous video. Um, go check it out after this if you, if you want to get value. Um, but this is a really cool, um, I used to love these little discs. This had lots of little um, games on it, things like Pac-Man. Um, I think it was called Soap or Soup. Sorry if I got that wrong. It was basically like a little helicopter game, which I used to love. Actually, it was a plane, but I used to think it was a helicopter when I was, bear in mind, I was like two years old when I used to play it. Uh, but I used to love that. And uh, lots of little games like Power, Sh Power Trooper. Um, there was a, an aircraft game. I, can't, I can never remember the names. I think it's because my granddad used to just load them up and they used to just play and I used to love that. And he's probably watching this now. So shout out to him. <laughs> uh, but that's really cool. And I, I used to love this. I think we had three of these, maybe more, but I've only got three at the minute. But the games I used to like on, on the floppy disk were things like this old golf game. We used to go, looks like he hit the tree, Jim. Um, put in the comments below if you've ever played that or know what I'm on about. Um, things like Prince of Persia, Steel Empire, and there's just thing about it. Put in the comments below what it is about floppy disks that you like. Is it the retro feel? Is it just the nostalgia of just like, oh my god, uh, I'm playing this really old game. And I used to love it because you just you just stick it in and, and the old computers be that eh, 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 you know, weird noises and, and clicking and all the rest of it. I'm not doing a very good job of it, but you get the idea. But I used to just love these old old discs, there's something about them, and inside them, for the, those of you that don't know, they're very floppy inside, they have a little bit of tape inside, which is like a little UFO. Um, I'm not gonna take this apart, because I like this disc, um, but it's just really cool, might do that in another video. Put the comments below if, if you like this setup, I'm just playing around with different setups. Um, if you're getting value so far, smash it in the, um, the comment section. Now, those of you in the know may remember this, this was the five and a half floppy. Um, I believe, I don't know if it says on it or not. Da, 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 da. I think these would hold, put in the comments below what it was. I think it was about four, 500 kilobytes, maybe less. And um, that, I think it was probably more like 300, wasn't it? And these were great. And I actually had, um, I actually bought this off eBay because I just think they're awesome, if I'm honest. Put in the comment below what games or software do you used to use? My granddad, um, who as I said watches now, used to use a program called WordStar, which was basically a very early version of Word to do all his early word processing. That was really cool. I used to love watching him type away and all that sort of jazz. And I remember he used to have lots of those big five and a half floppy disks. And I used to have one, I've probably got it somewhere actually, so I should have added it for the video. It used to say David or David's Games on it. And um, I had things like Pitfall, I don't know if you've ever played that. Um, uh, maths game and one or two little little games. A game called Face. Have any of you ever played that? So you literally just type in uh, Face and you get these little faces. Go doo -doo -doo, and you could hold down. Oh, I can't remember what it was. It was like Control Alt or something like that. And it would go doo -doo 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 -doo, and it all go together and then they would spread out. I used to absolutely love that. I get absolute uh, nostalgia. Uh, that's the right word. <laughs> um, and I used to love playing that. Put in the comments below um, what your favourite game on floppy disk was. I'll just be really curious to find out. If you'd like to support the channel, if you're getting value so far, hit the subscribe button and uh, feel free to check our merch. So there is a link to that in the description and pinned comment. Now, something I've never seen working, I'll be brutally honest, I'd love to. Put in the comments below if you have. And I know there's lots of other companies that have their own version of floppy disks and all that sort of jazz. Um, I appreciate that. Um, but I just had to see what one of these looked like. It's bigger than the flipping screen. Look, this is an eight inch, <laughs> an H, I can't even say that, an eight, an eight inch floppy disk. And as you can see, it literally takes up the screen of the camera. It's that big. And I thought it was about 200K. According to this, it was 128 bytes, apparently. I thought it'd be kilobytes, but apparently, it's bytes. So 
what's that? That's that's like what quarter of a picture. That's not even that, is it? That's like a few words. Um, but obviously, programs back then, software were much smaller. Um, and apparently, my granddad was telling me today that um, someone he he knew up the road from him in a, in a different business, um, they used to have an old uh, computer that used to use one of these. I think it was a Cal Cal Caltex or something. So if that's wrong, um, I'm sure you put in the comments below and correct me. <laughs> um, but anyway, this was really cool, really uh, retro. I just thought it was really cool. I've never seen these working. Um, so to have the sound effect, I just thought it was really cool. Bit of technology, bit of old school. Um, just. I don't know, I just thought they were awesome. Um, so yeah, as you can tell by my little face, <laughs> I was really happy to get there. And again, I just got off eBay. I got a little pack of three or four floppies, just for the pure hell of it. And I just thought that was really cool. Um, but I have to say, um, for me, what my most fav favorite game on a floppy disk was either Sam, which was technically called Secret Agent, but you used to type in, I think Sam 1, if you want to be correct. It was like CD Packs or Slam, and then you would type in Sam 1. It was basically Secret Agent, but I believe you could only type in no more than eight char characters, eight letters. Otherwise, um, the program just gets scared or you have to do a little hyphen thing. Anyway, so that's probably the most famous game or the one that I had the most sad with. Oh, well, with that old DOS golf game. And then later on, it's things like Prince of Persia, Steel Empire, F-15, Indiana Jones and an Ask Crusade. Come on, the LucasArts game. What a game. As a dyslexic person... I was rubbish at typing in all the things you had to type in, hence Grandad, uh, or Gar as I call him. Uh, but that was really cool. But please, please, I know I've, I've said it a few times, but please put in the comments below what games you used to love playing on floppy disks. I'll just be really curious to find out. Anyway, a big shout out to everyone that is watching over from the classic Facebook page. We have a link to that if you want to uh, check that out. We've got over 50,000 members there, so go and check them out. Um, check out our merch. Also, uh, we've got some affiliate links if you want to check them out. Buy yourself some floppy disks or maybe even a floppy drive. Links to that in the description. But more importantly, I hope you just enjoyed today's video. Got value from a bit of a nostalgia, me talking about old DOS games on floppy disks. And uh, just thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see you next week on DOS Byte. <laughs>